Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Royal Match on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Royal Match and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen, thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Royal Match. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, to get started we need to open our main browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to this URL that I have highlighted in green. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. There is no need to type it, because I provided the clickable link in the video description and the first main comment. We arrived here on our internet site of Usatility, where we find here a meticulous demonstration on how you can download and install Royal Match on computer. We browse down a bit and just click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on the link, we reach the site of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we will run to get access to this game Royal Match on the PC. As you can discover from here we access a number of advantages of preferring that emulator. Then, we will proceed to download the Royal Match by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green. We then click on that button. Of course, the download action starts and ends immediately. Voila! This is the download. It's a file to execute. The following step is to launch the executable file, OK, so we click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the system. We have said yes. I reduce the browser to view the installation software better. The installation software is straightforward. It includes two options, install and setup path. I am going to talk about what setup path genuinely does. We just simply click on it. Therefore we see that we get here the path where the emulator will be set up. If we have to modify this directory we are required to click on that, browse, option, so we opt for another directory and install the emulator wherever we prefer. I prefer to keep it by default. Then, I click on back. Therefore I click on install. Fantastic. The installation starts and it's going to proceed together with the download of all these megabytes that happens to be shown on our screen. Once you download it, it might possibly be more or less megabytes. The download speed may go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, based on your connection and according to the speed capacity of the emulator servers. Now they're working super fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this time, the emulator has been launched immediately. As you can see now, down here, there is a progress bar which will advance to the right and once it comes to the ending, the emulator is going to be launched for the first time. The fact is that the emulator has already been launched here for the first time. Before we keep going, as you can discover, it made two icons there on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon will be the only one we're concerned with. Whenever we are planning to launch Royal Match on the PC, we double mouse click on this app icon and therefore run the emulator. The Bluestacks Multi Instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved Multi Instance Manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let me do the next step, which is actually a must and that's to begin to browse the Google Play Store. And we are going to click on Play Store. As you understand the Google Play is launched, there we must sign in. Currently when we are right here, we must conduct the next phase that is definitely obligatory. So that we mouse click on, sign in. At present it says, checking info. It may in some cases get stuck in, checking info, that's why it doesn't proceed. In this case, you can try to connect to your account after a few hours and it will surely most likely be corrected. At present we are going to type in our username and password. The email address really needs to be a Gmail email and its related password. As an example you could use the same exact email you're using right now in your YouTube account. Thus I will enter my data and I will go back immediately after I have done it. That's all, data inserted. And here is Google welcoming us and offering us the terms of service. We would approve all of them by hitting, I agree. Then, it offers us to back up to the Google Cloud. You might leave it checked and it'll generate a backup of your files on this device to Google Drive. 
I will not check it, you do what you want. We click accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is launched by default and immediately. To install the application, we would need to visit the emulator desktop for Android by double-clicking on this app icon designated green colored. Currently that we are on the desktop of the Android emulator, we see that we find there the install app game button. We then click on this button. At this point we have the video game. Let's quickly click there on the install option that I am just presenting now in green. This will start the setup. Right now it will download on your laptop or computer and set up the video game. It will take a bit of time or perhaps it could also be almost immediate. It all relies on the internet access. This has just finished installing. Back to the emulator desktop by clicking on that option that I am presenting in green. If you want to run Royal Match for the very first time. You are already on the emulator desktop. And consequently we are going to click the fresh Royal Match software icon which was created. Your game is launched for the first time on your device. There we end up with it. I am able to mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to comment on the volume of this emulator. It is here. We use the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume. This manner we do not depend on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of your emulator. As well as to enjoy the experience to the max, we should turn on the big screen, for which we have two alternatives. That is the first one. We mouse click on this app icon that I am mentioning in green color. Then the screen is maximized, getting one border at the top, one at the right and the last one at the bottom. If ever we desire to appreciate the app in full screen, we click that software icon. And we'd by now be experiencing the game in full screen function. To stop the full screen functionality, click the F11 key. And we'd by now end up being in normal computer screen mode. From now, I am going to reveal you the keys mapping which is certainly surprisingly useful. This means we will probably be in a position to operate the game much more effortlessly. The first task is to press this keyboard icon. It's now time to make the appropriate configurations. I'm going to keep the normal settings, however if you require to change it, you can easily do this without having problem. As you can notice, the emulator is completely in our language. In some cases it happens that the emulator is presented in the incorrect language, for instance, in Mandarin. And as a result to set it in the correct language we go there to the cogwheel. And thus here within various other settings, we click the language drop down. We are able to pick the language we need, Spanish, Mandarin, and so forth. After the language is determined, we would save, the emulator would reboot, as well as the game, the next time we launch it, will as well be in the chosen language. Presently, there is another aspect that we need to take into account, and this is that we will receive a message from Google indicating that a different equipment has been connected with this Google account. It definitely will ask us if we are the people who have associated with that device. That's right, we should not be troubled, because the emulator is behaving like a Google Android electronic device. And in order to see which electronic device is currently being emulated, we come here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. So we go here to the, model, option. And there we see that the emulator is acting as a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for this video tutorial. I hope you appreciated it, particularly that you thought it was informative. If that's so, give it a great thumb up, subscribe, and if you have comments, questions or suggestions, put them in the comment area down below. Mouse click on any of these training videos that happens to be appearing on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the upcoming training videos. Bye.